Now, anytime I go thrifting, I'll be just gliding my hand down the rack and there's one thing that stops me in my tracks and that is the nice, soft, luxurious feel of cashmere. But there is always a catch with it. Almost everything that I found in the thrift store that's cashmere has holes in it. And that was definitely the case with these two sweaters. Now these sweaters were only $2 each because they were the color of the week in Goodwill, which means they had been in Goodwill for quite a while. This was their last chance to get scooped up before they went to the dump. And that's really no surprise because who wants to buy a holy sweater from the thrift store? Unless you're me and you have a DIY project in mind. Let's get started. For this project, I'm using two pink sweaters. They're both extra small, and I wanted a big scarf, so I did double the sweaters to give me double the fabric, and it was awesome. If you have a bigger sweater or you want a smaller scarf, you can definitely make this project with one cashmere sweater. First step, I disassembled my sweaters carefully, separating the sleeves from the body, then cut along the sleeve seam to open it up. I also separated the front and back of my sweaters by cutting down the side seams. This showed me how much fabric I had to work with. I lined up the sleeves of both sweaters and I measured to see how wide of a strip I could cut from the material available to me. And snip snip, using a rotary cutter, I trimmed the slanted sides of the sleeves off so I had long rectangles. I did the same on the front and back of my sweater using my initial rectangles as patterns to cut out identical rectangles of the same size out of the rest of the sweater. By the time I was finished, I ended up having six rectangles from each sweater, 12 rectangles in total. The number really doesn't matter. Just work with what you have and what you want your scarf to look like. The plan here is to make a double-sided infinity scarf but first I needed to sew my pieces back together so I could do that obviously I took two squares from the same scarf put one on top of the other with the right sides touching now I pinned along the bottom edge then I took this to my sewing machine and I sewed a zigzag stitch along that line I grabbed another rectangle of the same color pinned the right sides together on one of the other ends and so along that line as well. I continued this until all of my rectangles of that color were sewn into one long piece. Then I went ahead and repeated that entire process with rectangles from my other sweater, so the other color. Right sides together, I sew along the line, repeat, and voila, you have another long strip of cashmere. Let's pause for a quick fun fact. Cashmere doesn't come from sheep like you might think. It actually comes from a goat, a cashmere goat. And these goats are pretty cool because they're found in the Himalayas and in Mongolia where the temperatures can drop to negative 30 degrees Celsius. And of course they need something to keep them warm. What that is, is their cashmere coats. Isn't it crazy that cashmere is three times warmer than wool? It's gonna keep you as warm as a Himalayan goat. Back to work, you're gonna take those two long strips and place them on top of each other, right sides together, pin along the sides to keep them in place, and head back to your sewing machine to begin the long process of sewing along that line. This is the part that takes the longest just because they're long strips. Once you have one side done, repeat the process on the other, pin and sew along the other side. Last step, this is optional, but I also sewed along the bottom edge just so I wouldn't have to worry about any fraying inside the sweater. When you're done with that, reach your hand inside the tube that we've created until you get to the end, grab the end, and then you're gonna pull it back through the tube. Essentially, you're just turning the whole thing inside out, just like so. And the last thing you wanna do is make sure that you like your scarf length. And then you're gonna put that closed off side into the open hole on the other side so that the whole thing is just one big circle. To make this easy, what I did was just sew a straight line where those two met. It's not the prettiest thing, but I figured this is gonna be the back of my sweater. So that's how I did it. You could do some hand sewing and make a seam that's invisible too. It's really up to you. But before we do this whole big reveal, another fun fact. Did you know that the cashmere goats can only be sheared once 
a year. That's right, once. So obviously the nice fancy stuff is in short supply. It takes four goats just to produce one sweater. And you know, we're living in a fast fashion world where people want more, 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 now, 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 and for cheap. So this has led some herders to shear their goats earlier than usual, taking off all of that cashmere from the goats before the cold season is over, which is very unfortunate because then the goats don't have a lot of fat on their bodies either, and some of them end up dying because they don't have their coat anymore and they freeze to death. With this new mortality rate, the herders need more goats to keep their business going. So they keep pumping the goats in and that's having another effect. That is causing more mouths to feed and more overpopulation on the lands. Once green and unspoiled, the regions are quickly becoming deserts. Maybe you're thinking, I've never heard about this. I don't know if I should believe this. Who is this girl anyways? Well, let me direct you to the Patagonia website and tell you what they have to say about it. Quote, Today, cashmere is widely used throughout the industry as a commodity fiber, which is leading to overbreeding of cashmere goats, a decrease in fiber quality, and the desertification of the Mongolian region where the vast majority of cashmere goats live. Patagonia uses high quality recycled cashmere to buck this trend and reduce the environmental cost. We started using recycled cashmere in 2017. So, we're in good company using this recycled cashmere from the thrift store. So here's how the project came out. I love the two-toned pink. It is perfect for Valentine's Day and it's a perfect Valentine's Day gift. And when you think about everything that went into getting it, like that goat that might have died for your cashmere coat, I think it's important to keep using and reusing the things you own instead of just throwing them away. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know what you think about this new content because I do like doing DIY videos, but I also do them for a purpose and I wanna start sharing that purpose with you guys more. If you liked this video, leave a comment, let me know. If you didn't like it, leave a comment, let me know. To wrap this all up, I just wanna remind you guys that there is so much to wear. You do not need to buy new to look good. Thanks for being with me on this video and I hope you have a great day.